Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 4. I hope you managed to spend some time on your right hand picking the past week and today we're learning the mother of all exercises, the spider. I learned it from my guitar teacher many moons ago, thanks man, and I'm passing it on today. Before we get into this though, let's do the same thing as last week, where I play a couple of chords and I'd like you to just use the high E string and make up a melody. And remember, you can't do anything wrong. So if I'm playing something like this, you just play around with the high E string, play. Whatever comes to your head, try to uh, not censor yourself. Like I said, you can't do anything wrong. All right, the rhythm sequence, the chord sequence goes like this. Just keep repeating it, okay? For a minute or so. the mother of all finger exercises. She's called the spider and it's a very good exercise because it trains your left hand, it trains your right hand, it's about strength, it's about coordination and it's also very good for you to do on your own because if something sounds wrong you're doing something wrong but if you're doing it right it's gonna sound right. I'm gonna explain it a bit more. First, I'm gonna show you the first couple of strings. You start off with your index finger on the fifth fret. Okay, one, two, three, and four. And you always keep all the fingers on the fretboard. Let's do that again. So, same thing, fifth fret. Now, we're gonna go to the next string, but the idea of the spider is all the fingers are always on the fretboard. So, first when we go to the B string, it's just the index finger. When we plug the B string, then the middle finger comes down, ring finger, and the little finger. We always start with the index finger finger after finger and then the next string down. And at the beginning you might just do it on two strings. If you get bored, then just add another string. So if I'm starting again from the beginning, Further down, at the beginning you 
might just as such just do the top two strings, but then add a string if you if you com if you feel comfortable. Just a point about the right hand. Remember in our previous lessons, rest your thumb on a lower string just to give your right hand a bit of support. So when you pluck with index and middle finger alternating, it gives you a bit more support. Once you're down at the low E string, so we're uh, before we are on the A string. finger on a low E string and then index finger to the A string ring finger and so on and so on and actually I should have played it a bit slower because at the very beginning it's very very important to play slowly so don't rush ahead it's not about speed it's about getting it right and if you find yourself if it sounds like this for instance and then something like this you're doing something wrong so you have to find a way have your wrist low on the left play with the tip of your finger and then next next string if it sounds strange again, ah, something is wrong here. Just wiggle around a bit, wiggle, 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 and find the perfect position. We all have slightly different hands, um, slightly different arms, so it's individually it's slightly different. But always, if it sounds right, you're doing it right with the spider. And if you're doing something wrong, you're gonna hear it. I hope this all makes sense. If it doesn't, send me a message, leave me a comment, and I'll get back to you. That's the spider. You can do that every day for a couple of minutes, doing do it in front of the TV or in front of your computer, wherever. You can do it um, anywhere, but it's one of the most important exercises. I still do that every day at some point. Now, next thing. This was the spider. Remember last week we had the simple right hand picking exercise where it went like this. got on with that and let's build a bit up on that. Today I'm going to show you some very very, actually one very is enough, or even not a very, just some basic chords, your first basic chords. I'm going to play it and then I'm going to break it down. So first one is this. The chords I'm playing are A minor, E minor and D. Let's just call it D for now, although it's a, a special D, but it doesn't matter. First chord, on the right hand we pluck on the A string and the top three strings. So A and the G, B and E string, that's the three strings we need. And on the left hand we put our middle finger on the G string second fret, here and on the B string on the 1st fret. And then we pluck all those strings at, at once. That sounds pretty cool. That's an A minor chord. The next one is a bit easier. We just need the low E string, the G, the B and the E string as open strings. That's the E minor chord. And the third one is D. On the right hand we pluck the D, G, B and E string with those four fingers, like this. And on the left hand we have the open D string, index finger on the second fret of the G string and the ring finger on the third fret of the B string. Here, and then if we pluck them all together... Whoa, it sounds like this. And first step is Try to play those chords. Always remember, keep your wrist low, 
play with the tips of your fingers, just pluck all the strings at the same time. And once you're comfortable doing that, you could start picking. Like you could play like this. Slower. And if you get bored, speed it up a bit. So. around with your right hand, you could also play it like this. Nice one. As always, if you have any questions, drop me a line, leave me a comment. You can also send me a video of you playing it and I, I can send you some feedback of what, what you could do better. Perfect, I think that's it for this week. The random fact this week, I found a very relevant fact. Here it goes. In Britain, spiders outnumber people by more than 500,000 to one. So for each person there are 500,000 spiders. Which is pretty amazing. Again. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe. And I see you next week. Bye bye.